How's it going, good friends? Brian from Apex Detail here. Today we are going to take a look at a product from Scorpion Ceramics. This is CMX Renew. It is a three-in-one, a very interesting product. It's a quick detailer, infused with ceramic, a ceramic waterless wash, and a ceramic maintenance product. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at CMX. CMX Renew from Scorpion Ceramics, $24.95. It is a three-in-one waterless car wash, paint sealant for both protected and unprotected cars can be used as a standalone. It's also a quick detailer, a great maintenance spray for coated cars. Body shop safe, streak free, safe on all surfaces. Alright, we're going to do two things. First, I'll show you how to use it, the different ways we can use it and what it can be used for. And then we'll get it on a test panel and test out uh, the bump and gloss that it gives, if it does at all. Uh, can it fight off chemicals? But first we're going to use it as a rinseless and a quick detailer and a maintenance product for a coated car here. However, this coated car has been sitting out for quite some time and it has some really gritty contaminants. So this will actually be the perfect test. You know, we're not testing it on a, a perfectly clean coated car. This thing is filthy. It's gritty, it needs the TLC, and we're gonna see if the Renew does the trick. The first thing I wanna do is show you how I remove bird droppings from any type of vehicle, any type of clear, any type of color. If you don't have a pressure washer or something that you can blast that off with without touching it, this is the way I go about it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Renew, spray the area, grab a microfiber, spray the area on the microfiber like this and lay it right on top, very lightly, no rubbing back and forth, just lay it on top. So after about two to four minutes, I usually carry microfibers and you can carry that Renew in your trunk. Well, everybody has one or two of these rolling around underneath their seat, so this is what I do. The moisture up on top will work its way down and it'll also act as a wick. Uh, when microfibers, when I use them to dry, I often make them wet, wring them out, and they dry better that way. So it'll act like a wick and pull some of that crap up into the towel. Now what I'm going to do after another 30 seconds is just dab the towel itself. Then we're going to slowly peel up the towel without rubbing it or dragging it back and forth. Just give it a rolling motion. We have a little bit down there yet, but it is loose. So what I'm gonna do is spray it again. And there it is. At this point, you can come in with a dry microfiber and do your rolling motion and it, it'll be completely gone. But that's how I safely remove bird droppings, sap, and other contaminants if I don't have free flowing water to aid with breaking it down. This has a ton of lubrication. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the panel first, one panel at a time, top to bottom. Then I'm gonna spray the side of the towel that's gonna to make contact with the surface first. Use my rinseless wash method, rinse and repeat.
So we used the rolling method. We sprayed the panel first. We misted the towel, the side of the towel that's going to make contact. We kept flipping it, just keep folding it, use a clean side of the towel, and it does a fantastic job breaking down the dirt, emulsifying, lifting it, and letting it be picked up from the towel as you roll it so we have a distinct line and this stuff does a fantastic job when it comes to cleaning. Continue all the way around the car for the painted surfaces. Okay, besides painted surfaces, what else can we use it on? How about glass? Absolutely. And as you can see, very effective, no streaking whatsoever. One thing I wish, and something I notice, surfactants are fine, it cleans well, it uh, leaves down uh, a gorgeous shine, and we'll take a look at that later. It just is a little bit short when it comes to the feel of lubrication. Uh, that uh, what I get when I use the Adams SiO2 rinseless wash. Other than that, very impressive. How about plastic trim? Well, I mean, the whole interior is coated in here, has its own coating. We'll use it on the plastic trim, absolutely fine to clean and protect this. You could use it on the whole interior of your car if you want. It's a detail spray as well. How about wheels? These are coated as well. Absolutely. Start to break down, emulsify, encapsulate the dirt, and you're ready to roll. Okay, and we're all set. Did a very, very good job cleaning the wheel. 
It looks great, looks a whole lot better. It's protected again. And oh, by the way, everybody asks why I park on these mats. These protect the floor, the uh, epoxied floor, especially if I'm coming in with hot tires. But it also gives me a little bit of, of elevation. So when I'm coming around with the tire shine, I can get uh, down around the bottom here at the tread where it's hard to get if it's sitting fat, uh, flat on the floor. But yeah, this uh, does a, a very good job. With the entire car completely clean, we're going to use the exact same product as a quick detailer, add a little bit more protection and another sacrificial layer for our coating. It's going to be applied a little bit different, a lot easier. You could just spray it directly onto the panel or directly onto a microfiber and then flip over and buff dry from there. Completely up to you. Very simple and user friendly, even in direct sunlight and some pretty um, high humidity and heat. Gives an added layer of protection, lays down some really slick protection as well, increases, bumps up the gloss in case you want to go to a show or an event, and is extremely um, water repellent, fights off Mother Nature, UVA, and UVB. With everything clean and protected, and that goes for absolutely every surface on this car, Hey, you're ready to go out for a cruise. This is the one that I restored the interior. It was all torn, ripped up. There was a dog must have lived back there. I don't know. But we have everything cleaned up. It's shiny, glossy. Uh, if it had a little bit more lubrication, it would make me happy. Let's get on the test panel, and we'll get on a darker test panel. See if it makes the surface look darker or richer. See what kind of a bump we can get out of the gloss from the gloss meter. And see if it lays down any protection whatsoever. Here we have a dark colored test panel. And it's been clean, decontaminated. It's been exfoliated. I'm going to mask off a little section here. We'll apply the product. See if it has that darkening effect. Does it make the test area darker and richer? We'll test for gloss, slickness. We'll see if it lays down any protection whatsoever. All right, we're going to lay down two layers of the CMX Renew. I'll let it go for about 30 seconds or so, wipe it off. I'll apply a second layer in a bit. We'll let that cure for a couple hours. We'll come back and we'll test it. All right, plenty of time to cure. Let's remove the tape. Uh, we'll see if it made a difference, made uh, the shade a little bit different, made it darker, gave it some depth. Then we'll take some gloss meter readings. Um, it'll beat it up a little bit, see what it can take. Okay, so <clears throat> not sure how that's going to pull through the video, but it did make the area nice and dark, gave it a little bit of depth. It really is glossy now. It really has a nice slickness to it. Let's get the gloss meter. All right, we'll take some readings first in the protected area, and then after that, the surrounding areas that have no protection whatsoever. very high. If you've been following the channel and keeping track of some of the readings we've been getting from these products, you'll understand these are very high and a very nice gloss reading. Now the surrounding areas. As you can see outside the area we have a nice big drop off. Okay, 
All right, let's check out and see what the uh, water repelling and hydrophobic properties are. All right, we have really nice water properties with this product. Not going to go too crazy with it. Maybe we'll put it up against something else. But let's uh, see how the chemical resistance is. We'll use a cheap uh, dollar store cleaner. I can see already this is going to be pretty good. Um, you know, when I see a distinct outline <clears throat> and a huge difference as to how it rejects chemicals and defends them, I know it's going to put up a good fight. So we'll do maybe a round or two, but I think it'll be interesting put it, to put it up against another product, like maybe the um, uh, HydroCharge from Chemical Guys or Liquid X Shock. I'll leave it up to you. Oh, absolutely. All right, one more. Let me pick one more chemical here. Something a little different here. How about a pad cleaner? This is uh, made to pull out waxes and sealants and residue from pads, microfiber, and foam. All right, you can see this stuff is tenacious as well. Let's rinse. And you can see, even without the reset in the picture to remove any type of residue. Renew is the real deal. Uh, the only problem I have with it, I wish it would have a little bit more lubrication when using it as a waterless wash product. Other than that, you've seen the readings, the protection, and uh, hey, let me know down in the comment section what you want me to match this up against. And for the final thoughts segment of the video, CMX Renew. Very effective as a waterless wash. I wish it had just a little bit more lubrication. Um, has uh, decent surfactants. It does get the area clean. It adds gloss and depth. It will add a little bit of protection to an existing coating. It can be used as a standalone as well. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail. I'll catch you in the next video.